all right what's up everybody it's your boy chris and i want to thank you as always for checking out an episode of southern lifetimes today i have a special episode i've been waiting on this for a long time we got wes here we got clay and we got keith so last month uh wes here had contacted me about helping him with an alligator hunt helping him film and any type of other assistance they may need and i was like sure because I thought it would be a fun experience. <laughs> so here we are, we're in Lake Village, Arkansas, here at the RV park. And uh, we're just gonna go over some things and tell y'all about what we're gonna do. Now the hunt is gonna take place at Lake Grampus. A lot of you seen me fish there. And uh, what we're gonna do is probably kinda, we're gonna put in and ease towards the back. Because as I told them, that's where I see most of the bigger type gators at. So that's the plan. And then we're gonna talk about the equipment we're gonna use and. I'll let Wes take over from here. So Chris, what we got going on here, Clay and Keith, is uh, we're gonna get in front of the boat. Uh, this area that we're going into, Chris is most familiar with, so he's gonna get us to the part of the lake where he's seen the biggest alligators, the most, the heaviest, densest population, which gives Clay, which gives you obviously the best chance of taking one. Yes. And when we get back there, we'll kill the big motor, we'll drop the trolling motor, and we're just gonna start moving slow. We'll use light, you know, to kind of look. Um, I don't know if you've seen alligators' eyes kind of glow red. A lot of times it's, it's, it's hard to tell exactly how big that alligator is by just looking at eyes. Sometimes we're going to have to ease up and look down in there and see. Uh, Clay, this is your hunt, so when you see the one you want, you call it. they got to be four foot. I know you're, you're, you're kind of hoping to hold out for a bigger one, I hope, and I hope yep. you get that. Once we get into where the alligator's going to be, I'll be up in the front of the boat running the trolling motor. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to flip this light upside down. I'm gonna hold it down close to the water and I'm gonna kind of let the light reflect off the water back up and I'm not gonna put the light directly on him. I am gonna try to take the boat straight to him using the trolling motor. As I do that and he gets closer, you go ahead with the, with the harpoon and you go ahead and get up there beside me and get ready um, to do what you have to do. The, the, the signal that he's close enough or if it looks like he's fixing the sink and we, you need to go ahead and take a shot, I'll turn this light right on him. I'm gonna give you as much okay. to look at as you can look at. And I'll kind of back up out of your way and let you do your thing. Man, drive that thing home when you do. Now we did put this on it, you know, earlier today, you and I went ahead and, and put a, a noodle on it. Help because, it float. Yeah, because this does not float. We know this does not float, we tested it. And the idea is, is if you have to throw it, it'll float back up and we can reuse, you know, we want to be able to reuse yes. it again. All right. So that's kind of the deal, and I'll show you how this, uh, show you how this works. This is where you come in. So one thing we don't want is we do not want this rope getting tangled up, and we dang sure don't want it around nobody's feet or around anything inside this boat that could cause us to, uh, you know, if it gets wrapped around a leg and that gator takes off, a leg goes in the water with the gator. So it's tangled now, but that's this is gonna be kind of what you've got going on. And you'll just kind of stand beside Clay and help him. And the way this fits on here, this, this broad head, is it's just gonna slide down on the tip of this. We're gonna take painter's tape, is what I've got, and I think you said you yep. had some. We're gonna wrap this maybe one time, maybe two times. We may pull up here and wrap it a couple times right here. If you need to move further up, if you would, just take your hand and hold it on it. And of course, you can feel the weight. Mm -hmm. As soon as you stab him, that's gonna come off in the gator and stick. You're still gonna be holding the pole. And at that point, your job is to make sure that this line gets out of my boat and that that float gets thrown out. All right? I'm just beating line. Well, yeah, just if you have to, you can just lay it over in the water. Just get it out of the boat. I don't want yeah, it in the boat. Get it all out of the boat. Yeah, all out of the boat. All right. Once we once we get that knocked out, um, <coughs> Chris, we can turn every light mm -hmm. we got on at this point. You know, now now we got something. We got him. We got him on, on one of our one of our broadheads in him. All right. Clay's going to reload. Put another roll of tape around that. Get ready for the second one. And uh, you or I one will end up grabbing hold of this. As you can see here. I'm sorry, you wrapping oh. it up. Yeah. If you can see right here. Um, Clay and I have marked 10 foot and we've marked five. So as you're pulling, he'll be kind of pulling, but you're just gonna be easing him up. We don't wanna rip it out of him. When he gets to 10, just let us know, or if I'm doing it, we'll let you know we're at 10 foot. Yes. 
And then once we get to five, that's when you need to start getting that camera back around there because it's fixing to, it's fixing right. to get fun again. Okay. Like as soon as you may have to do it a time or two to get them. Yeah, to get him up there. Yeah, don't fight them. It's not like a complete fight. Yeah. To get them, just if he starts to make another run, let him go. Yeah, let him go. We we just don't want to rip this out of him. But that, that's gonna lock in him pretty good. That's pretty heavy cable. When you get the second shot, take the second shot. I know that Clay already knows this, so I'm I'm just sharing it kind of as a how-to. Right. Um, you cannot stab this into their back. It'll tear this all up and it will not stick. You're gonna have to come in from the side and that soft tissue between his front leg and his back leg. That's where you're that's what you're looking yes. to hit when you put it in there. Once we get two of them in him, uh, me and you are gonna try, do our best to both of us grab hold of the rope. Go ahead and get your shotgun out, get re everything ready, get it loaded, get ready to dispatch him. Me and you're gonna do the best we can to just ease him up to the top of the water and uh, without sticking your shotgun down in the water, there's a triangle right on yep. the back side of his head and you're gonna, you're gonna dispatch him. And then once he goes limp, beyond the celebrating, Right. We're going to hold his mouth shut we, just for giggles. We're going to wrap a couple rolls of tape around his mouth, and then we'll we'll roll him up in the boat, and mm -hmm. we'll roll on back to the house. Right. So that's kind of the... Get us a good picture. That's that kind of, yeah, that's kind of what's... <laughs> that, that's kind of, you know, it, it's kind of a how-to, because I know that while we're sitting here, and you guys may have done this before, there may be somebody out there watching that hadn't. They may draw a tag next year, and I hope they call you, because, you know, we, we've done it, and we kind of know what's going on, and we can help, we can help out that way. But... Man, I'm excited, and I, I can't wait. We're allowed to get in the water, guys, at 30 minutes after dark. I think you said the time of that was 7.41. So yeah. we ain't putting the boat in there until 7.41. Yep, 7.41. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll going to be sitting there waiting on us, probably. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get our positions in the boat. We'll make sure everything works. We'll have all our lights. Um, <coughs> other than that, I can't wait to get out on the water. I recommend we probably down here, especially around that area, mosquitoes can get really bad oh, when yeah, it gets dark. Yeah, so yeah. I would probably spray down heavy with off. Before. I'm wearing long, sl long yeah. sleeve silk. I shirt. brought a long sleeve. Yeah, I've so got a thermos. He's got a thermos cell. cell. We can, we can keep run in the boat. 15, should keep 15 foot area. Okay, so that should help. be able to set yeah. it in the boat and maybe keep a little bit of them off. Us. Yeah, that yeah. should help. I like thermos cell. Yeah. Okay. Well, man, that's that's what we got going on. And uh, guys, I want y'all to know. Um, the way this whole thing happened, Clay here is the one that drew the permit. Uh, Keith is his buddy, and they come down, and, and they called me. I, I'm West with Arkansas Extreme Outdoors, and they called me uh, to see if I could bring a boat down here to help them out with this. And the whole reason Chris got involved, because this is Chris, this is Chris's stomping ground, <laughs> and we knew, and Chris films, and so we knew that our best chances was to to assemble the best team to mm -hmm. make this happen and get it on video. He's, so he's gonna be the one to put us on. That's right. So right. so that's that's kind of how all this come to be. And man, that's this is I, I can't wait. I hope that when this is over with, all of us have good memories and we make good friends while we're out there. And it'll it'll be something we always sure. remember forever. So I'm thankful that y'all decided to contact me. And uh, like I said, I'm pretty confident we'll see some gators. I, I hope we see a big one, a really yeah. big one. I'm, I'm confident we will see some gators. Yeah, I, I, I feel that way too. And, I, and just from us, we want to thank y'all too because you know yeah. you got the expertise on it and right. you're the one that's going to put us where we need to be. Mm -hmm. so thank and again, for us. as Wes said, he, he also has a YouTube channel. It's called Arkansas Extreme Outdoors. He has some nice content. Look him up on there, give his videos a like, and also give him a subscribe. No, all our lakes back home are, you know, bigger. You know, not there's look, you know, like the grass keeps stopped, but nothing like this. You know, no big trees for a minute. They're all dead trees out there. Nothing like this. This look it looks gatorish. Looks like somewhere you see gator. But it was there. I promise you it was there. I bought a stainless steel prop because I done broke the other knob. He might have just hit our world, our state record. That might have been the biggest gator, yeah. He might have just hit him. He may be floating there when we come back. <laughs> There's something swimming right there. Yeah, I don't something think it's, swimming right there. I don't think it's gator though. You 
sure? I don't know. He had it seemed to look like a gator to me. It that's, looked, that's a gator. It's a gator. He had a little one, though. Yeah, he probably looked about like, kept about like that. His eyes didn't glow, though. He's facing the way Chris got stolen the right way. We done running into him. We got something way on the far side, close to the bank. There's one on the far side, close to the bank. See? Oh, what? Yeah, see? see alligator? Yep, yeah. alligator. Yep, close his eye, went down. He's right there, see? Yeah. How close is he? He's on oh, the yeah, I see. You see? Yeah, I see. You want to go ahead and cut everything off, try to ease in? Yeah. There he is again. I don't know about his. Okay, I got him on camera. Looks small. He's small. Sure you want that one? He might be too. Got a little moonlight. That always helped the camera out. I might just go back big. I don't know. I was thinking I might try this red for a minute since it worked well on the baby eyes. And you may uh, you may turn that bright one on and find them and then switch to red. See Get us all the way in there too. Got one. Yeah, that's fine alligator. That thing. That's looking a little kind of big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, we got him found. Let's see if I can go red. His eye, his eye look kind of big on it. He was. Yeah, this big spotlight, it worked well. I just, I'm wondering if I ain't speaking. Oh, I got him on the red now. Huh? I got him on the red now. See if you can cut yeah. that headlight. Yep, see I see it. Get yeah. him on his cut, red. cut that. What to him with the red if it won't spook him? Yeah, it looks like he's moving. Mike can intercept him. Looked like he just went under, didn't he? Oh, he got behind. He might be behind something. Let me set that trailer motor down so I can move. Is that it right there? He's still there. See his eye glowing on that red? He's not real big. Bigger than that other one. Is that eight foot? I don't think he was. He wasn't. A, he wasn't a big. He was. He wasn't a big boy. Mm -mm. I think he was legal, but I don't think he was. Yeah, I, I think we can definitely find one bigger than that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a small one. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mess with him. Right there in front of us is a small one. And it's still ugly. I wouldn't. But it's your tag though. But. Find another while I'm chasing this. Oh 
Oh yeah, he's, he's bigger than the ones we've been after, don't you think? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a 10 footer at least. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely bigger. Look yep. at that nose. Yep, that nose way out there, that, that may be eight inches. Eight, mm -hmm. 10 inches. He went under. Maybe just float for a minute, let him come back up. I knew he was bigger than the other ones. His eyes was wider apart, you know? Yeah, like I said, once, once I saw the tip of his nose out in front of those eyes, I said, yeah. Remember, go for belly clay. We'll have to put some hips in it. For everything you got to the belly. <laughs> then they make sure you don't get it inside and get tangled up in this cord I'm trying to feed. You wouldn't think this water's 12 feet deep right here. I'm not judging by these trees. I think he's a... Yeah, we slowly ease, easing up on him. Damn, I hope he don't turn and go right. He went under, he went under. Got that. That's what we want to beg him to do right yep. there. Good thing Clay wasn't holding that pole. <laughs> he'd, have, he'd have ended the hunt right there. That's what he ended the night. <laughs> we'd be carrying one back, I could carry off a shoulder out of here. <laughs> Y'all be like, we spent all this time coming out here for this footage for this. I remember if you go to this side, you want to go to this side. Went back under, didn't he? Still see his bubbles. Trailing the bubbles. There he is, back up. That's a big boy again. Look decent. I think it's that big in the can. It's definitely a killer. Come on, baby. Everything good on my end. Got him. I'm pretty sure. Nah, you didn't get it. No. Let me find him. Oh. You tend to get the tape right now. Just hold it.
Did you? No, I don't think so. Don't come out. You. He ain't pulling my line. Dang. Let me, I'm checking the line. Get on the back, I think. Am I aiming too high? You ain't got it. You ain't got it nowhere. Is it still on there? I don't know. We're going to take a look. Yep. Yeah, it's still on there. Hold on. I'm getting... Man, I'm surprised we got a second with him. I know. He's going to get weary here in a minute. Did it bend it? Yes. You hit it in the back. back. Okay. That small clay. Yeah. No, it wastes the whole thing on him. Got on down. Yep. It looked about the same size, don't it? Yeah. 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 Hey, we back on them. Yeah, and I think that's a good gale. I think that's a small one. It might be the same one, I'm not sure. Yeah, you just win, man. Well, the little one lets you get close. Look at him. Look at him, Graham. He's on one of the right things. It's like a toy with my emotion. Boat butt and the back hurt. I definitely got boat butt. All right, what's up everybody? It's your boy Chris and welcome back to part two of the alligator hunt. We had a tough night last night. We had a couple chances to get one. We didn't quite see the deal, but we had a good time. So we're back out here at Lake Grampus. I got Mr. Michael with me. We got Clay again. He's the tag guy. He's the one that'll be harpooning the gator. And we got his buddy Keith right there with us. So I don't know, we, we gotta try something new today. We gotta just get out here and get on the grind. But uh, we're going to search the lake. We're going to see if we can see some eyes and try to chase them down. But, yeah, man, I'm going to hand it off to Michael. He's going to explain a few things about the equipment and et cetera. So here he goes. All right, so what I've done is they – so Wes couldn't be here again tonight, so I come to kind of take his place. And what I've done was I brought my harpoon, that one that we use all the time in the past couple of years, and it's just a little bit longer. And maybe that'll help us get that little bit, little bit of distance on him and close the deal. And I just got one question: Have any of you guys ever had gator on a stick? Mm -mm. That's what we want to have tonight. We want to have gator on a stick. <laughs> so y'all don't go nowhere because it's been to get exciting. Ain't that right? That's right. Yes. All right. All right. Y'all stay tuned. This 
laid right here off the load nut and the fish. What about bass? Is there some good bass fishing in? I'm not sure. I never bass fish out here. I know it's, it's good, good crappie, good brim. I haven't caught a lot of catfish out of here. Really? Mm -hmm. That could be some good channel catfish. Hey guys, listen. Believe it or not, that was probably, I wouldn't stick it, but that was probably a legal game. He was probably full foot. Their tail is way longer than you think it is. Tail about but You don't want tail. to get on four footer. I mean, that ain't really what you think about when you draw for a tag, you know. No, you know, you, know, you, want, you want one that tries to eat us. Closer to 1230, maybe. Yeah, when it gets down to crunch time, if you see anything you want, we'll get it. Can I go over there or should I go over there? You can, uh, cut to that hole. Yeah. Like I said, yeah, we're getting that channel. You can go down a good ways without worrying about hitting much. The good thing about this is they ain't I mean, never been hunting. Is this the first year for these tags? Yep, that's what they say. That'll be pretty tame. Clay, yes. when you stick him, you gotta put, you gotta, you gotta be, you gotta stick him like you're mad at him. Yeah, hang on, stick him like you're gonna try. Huh? I tell him to hang on until he knows. He's yeah, done. stick him like you're trying to kill him. Alrighty. If you, if you rear back and stick that stuff as hard as you can, you gotta be accurate. You know, I mean, yeah. listen, but you'll be, you're gonna, we're gonna get you close to him can and you do it just just aim for right down right at, right below the water line right in the side Alrighty. sometimes now if he stops sometimes yeah. their head will be like this and they'll their body will be straight down you have to watch out yeah. for that but this water's clear enough you'll be able to see Bigger though. He's about four and a half, five foot. Ooh, I burnt my hand. <laughs> he got my hand, boy. You got that. Let's light it up. We gotta have a pole. No, we got another. How good is it? Hey, he stuck good. Hey, give me five. You want me to get the jug? You want me to get the jug? You get the jug. Yes. You, you, you work the line and just easy. Oh, he's gonna go down. He's running. What we need to do? Is, you, you get ready with the harpoon and whenever he, whenever he gets him. Let me get these gloves on real quick. He ain't gonna be in no bird. He ain't going to work. Let me hand you the jug. What the hell? It's two right hand gloves. Coming back, okay. So we'll let him get right out in the light. Okay, I'm gonna put my light pole down. Okay. Let him get right out here in the light. And when you stick him, you stick him hard. We're gonna bring him right to the Okay. Keep 
come off? Yeah. Mm, it's all right. I got him up off the bottom. I don't know how good I got the shot. I think your head might have yeah, popped you, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you might have had a little obstructed view. <laughs> okay. Mine, I'm not in your way, am I? No, you good. Does that light hurt yours? He's gone through it. He's he, 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 a little bigger than I thought he was. I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna try not to let go of him, but I don't want to pull him too hard. All right, get your head. Straighten that harpoon back out. It's still okay. It's still on there. Okay. Yep. All right. I'm pulling him gently. All right, just pull him gently. All right, ready? Right, be nervous, hey. Just, just get a good, get a good stick on him, okay? Cool. He's under the get wrapped. He's wrapped. It's all right. Don't pull him. Let him go. Or don't let him go. But look, grab that string and see what we got to do here. Let's see. He's wrapped. Let's go around that way. Which way we got to go? We're going to sit here and wait on him. Okay. Because <coughs> he'll go. drown. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Coming up. Coming up. Oh. Can you need me pass that line off to me? Um, you can work that around there. I got the line. Get yeah, me. Get the line. Get me clean. The tree. So he's off the tree. But hold a little pressure on him. Okay? I'm holding pressure. Still running. I'm starting to pull back to us again. All right, now pull him to you. Not nope, he's, running. Hard, he's just... running. He's running. He's running. All right. Now listen. He ain't come up for air for a minute. Okay. Right, we gotta watch this line. I'm. I'm. I'm bringing him back up. Right, here we go. We need to get another harpoon in him. When you when you stick him, just stick him really, really hard. He's running. And then we're going. Hang on, let me back this up. He's coming. He's coming. I see. He's coming. Oh, oh, sorry. No, you good. Did you get the other hang harpoon? On, hang on, hang on, hang on. Here, stick him. You gotta stick him. Hang on, your tip ain't in. Your tip ain't in. You gotta put your tip in. I got him right here. It's all right. Just hang on to him. Ease him around here and stick him wherever you can get him. Okay. He's running. He's running. Play him around. No, no. Stick him. Got him. All right. Now. All right, all right, look here. Let me hold him. Get the gun. Get the gun. I'm missing a toe. Take your time. You, you're good. Take your time. You're good. You're missing a whole feet pad. <laughs> All right, now, Chris, you good? Yes, sir. You right. can flip him over. Hey, I can't. We're gonna flip him over, okay? I'm letting go. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my video camera down. So I know Chris has got it. Hang on now. Hold on. Hold here. Yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring him, flip him over. Okay. I'm gonna grab him by the tail, and, and just take your time, okay? Just put it right in the back, right in the back of his head. He's fixing. Hey, go look at Woo. Chris and tell him that's how you get it done. That's how you get it done. All right. Good job, Chris. Here you go. Yes, sir. I'm gonna let we you load him. Right. Here, I got your gun. Get your game. Good job. Now watch out. We need to take for his mouth, don't we? Nah, he's dead now. No, oh, he ain't going nowhere. Look at the blood. Yeah, he's he down. Let me get out of the way. I got him perfect. You did, man. You did it perfect. You, yeah, go, you did a perfect hit on him. You got a good video of him? Yes, sir. Hey, you got him right under that plate where you're supposed to get him. Hold his head up there and see how big his head is. Oh, yeah, you got a good gator, man. That's a good one. Uh, got him right in the right spot, too. Hey, here's the thing about a gator that size. Mm -hmm. He's easy to clean and tender to eat. <laughs> yes. Look at that, I'm brother. excited. That. That's how you're supposed to shoot him right there. So let's see how long he is. That's so heavy. About seven feet. Long way longer than me. 
course, I ain't. I'm a short man. So. Hold on. Hey, his tail's five Ooh. foot long. <laughs> Let me get in the middle. <laughs> that is awesome. Right, so look. after last night, I really wasn't gonna be picky, and this—he looked like he was about seven to eight feet. So I decided to stick this one, and first shot, I got him perfectly right off the right off the scoots and he didn't go very far and got wrapped up in a tree and when he came back up I seen his tail and he kind of spun and I was able to get the harpoon in him in his into his belly and it with everything going on it stuck and he rolled we was able to roll them over and I got them good in the top of the head with the shotgun. Congratulations, man. Thank That's your first gator, right? Yes, this is my first gator and I'm ecstatic. <coughs> awesome. It's a dream come true to be able to get out in the outdoors and accomplish goals like this. And I can't thank the folks at Southern Outdoors. Southern Lifetime. Southern Lifetime Outdoors and Extreme Arkansas Extreme Outdoors. They've really made this possible because without their help, I would have been lost. Uh, Wes, unfortunately, wasn't able to join us tonight, but Michael Ball was our guide tonight, and he put us on them quick. And Chris... He knows this lake like the back of his hand. He's able to tell us to turn when we need to turn. And this lake is just loaded with gators. And like I said, I wasn't going to be too picky because I was afraid this was going to be the last evening. Got it done. Yep. Well, congratulations. congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations from us. Sure. Man, you did good. Everything was perfect. You hit him perfectly twice, and you shot him perfect. You did it. Uh, you did it good. You put now, a good shot on him. Here, here's what you, all of us can <coughs> say. Listen, we can all say this. Everybody in the boat. Now you know how to kill. You've been on a, on a kill, so killing a big one's the same way. I mean, it's, you just gotta be super quiet. And what I learned is, if you go too fast with a trolling motor. The water that flushes around the shaft makes a little that's rippling where, sound. That's where we messed up last and, night. And that's we what he hears that scares on. him off. Last night we were coming in way too hot on him. Yeah, that's what he hears. We that's learned something. Scares him. We know how to do it now, Chris. <laughs> right. That that. Last that's night that was our problem. We were coming in too hot. Out. We weren't giving them. Yep, we're a lot more stealthy today. Mm -hmm. About like a snake. Nah. Yeah. You're wrapped around there. Yeah. Boy, that's gonna burn Wes up. I'm seeing him visit that buddy boat. He's gonna be foaming at the mouth trying to find out what we're doing. So, to me, this is the best picture right here. <coughs> yeah, now, now he's got that, uh, dude, that's the best picture all night of just him and the gator. Look at that. He's finally kind of, <laughs> he's still he's filming, relaxed. but he's relaxed. He's relaxed a little bit, a little bit. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like if you killed it. It, book. It's like I don't even know where to begin. What'd you say we was done at 8 30? <laughs> I think it was 8 30. Yeah, we was it's about, not with it, 9 12 it was right about now. 8 30 when he stuck him, I think. Yeah, about that. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. What, not even an hour after dark? No, we, we I knew it was going to need to happen while it's really dark. Once that yeah, moon gets up. That was one reason I was like, it's probably now or never. Well, I learned some stuff about it. Like I said, I probably won't ever get to hunt a gator again in my you life. You never know, man. I tell I everybody, put in the, put in for the tag. I'm because, next year. Yeah, man. <laughs> I tell you what. You got me wanting to get one. Yeah. Hello, guys. Oh, crap. Yes, I'm shining. Never mind. But we've had some that did yeah, really that's well the, and some that didn't do so well. They waiting for us. They want to see what the heck we got in here. Oh yeah, they know they, they don't, you know they heard this shot. <laughs> Reckon now won't hurt them to take on that way. <laughs> Be like, go on that way. 
since we already got one. Yeah. yeah. That's where the better ones are. Give them a tip. Let's see. <laughs> well, hey, he, he got it. He got the bucket list marked off. That's good. We didn't have a lot of time tonight, so he finally got one to stick. Congratulations. Thank you. That's great, man. Yeah. I'm happy for you. Thank you. I'm more tickled about that than I've been all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the house. We're seeing a dead gator. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you videoing? Yes, sir. Hey, Wes, I just gave your broom handle away. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to help uh, somebody get off their bucket list of an alligator, so we're going to give them some of our equipment. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> These fellows from Desert, man. They, they might not even have a broom handle for sale over in Desert. I don't know. We don't, hey, we don't use do you, let me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask y'all a question. Do you happen to know anybody named Cawthorn? I know some Cawthorns, not personally, though. Yeah. I'm shy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, you're, you're all right. right. Hey, what, what's your name? Cawthorn. Marvin Lloyd. Oh. Brad, Brad DeVore. DeVore. Okay. Uh, Marvin Lloyd and Brad DeVore. Y'all don't yes, mind sir. being okay. on YouTube, do you? No. <laughs> From Desert, Arkansas. Yeah. Oh. Yes. What's your YouTube channel? Southern Lifetimes. We got two of them. You gotta put a, a S on the end of the Lifetime. Okay. Southern Lifetimes, and when you get that one on there, I'm gonna give you mine. And it worked. Like I said, when, when, we, when we did that with him, it was the difference between daylight and dark tonight, being able to get up on one. Well, I'm gonna uh, turn the motor driving over to him and well, is that good enough? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. All right, now I'm going to give you mine. Because both of the, we're going to have this hunt on both of our channels, ain't we? Right. So <coughs> mine is Arkansas Extreme Outdoors. Don't, don't let us hold y'all up now because oh, we'll see that big ball of yeah, orange. If it's too things. high up there, y'all, it's going to, they're going to be looking at you. Yeah, we're going to go. Yeah, I don't want to mess y'all up. What Thank was your name? Thank you. Lloyd. Appreciate Marvin you. Lloyd. Uh, y'all all know the Lord is your Savior? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Great. That's absolutely. good. Yeah. Hey, last night, mm -hmm. these guys had the, yes, sir. the pastor of the Cowboy Church will. That's I'm right. I'm actually a pastor yeah. of a church myself. Are you really? Yeah. Yeah. Where at? What, what, uh, what's Bradford, the name? Arkansas. Bradford. Okay. Mount Carmel Missionary Baptist Church. That's part of the reason why uh, Mr. West didn't make it tonight. He got to preach yeah, in the morning. Yeah, he got well, preach in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. I asked, I, I knew I got this tag, and I asked the church, hey, can I have Sunday off, this Sunday <laughs> off, you know? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. come to find out, I can't get off work tomorrow night, so I'm going to have to go into work yeah. anyway, yeah. but. Well, you're the, you're the actual tag man, so that yeah. Yeah, I'm the tag guy. I, I'm the so. helper. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's uh, I don't like missing church, so I'm gonna go to church I tomorrow night. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Man, congratulations! It was a, it was a fight. Yeah. It was a fight. Congratulations, Appreciate brother. Appreciate it. All right, man. We're gonna get out of y'all's way so y'all can go get a gator. Y'all take care. Thank you right. very much. All right. Very welcome. Very welcome. Hope y'all be careful. Get it. Alright everybody, so that's the end of the trip. Mr. Clay got his alligator. This was the last night any of us were going to be able to hunt because of work schedules and etc. But I'm glad he got one. We got the job done. I'm very thankful for everybody that come along. I'm glad y'all invited me along. And we got it done. How does it feel? It feels fantastic. I want to thank Southern Lifetimes. Lifetimes and Arkansas Extreme Outdoors. Like I, I've said multiple times, this wouldn't be possible without out their help. Thanks. Congratulations, man. Good thank job. You. Yep. And big thanks to Wes for thank putting you. all you guys together. That That's was right. Kind of like you said, it was just meant to be. Yeah, yeah. Everything happens for a reason. Yep. Thank you for navigating us. No problem. For being, being our, our 
expert gator guy. I don't know about expert, but uh, we we uh, we got it done tonight. That's the thing. We all so gator hunting. Anytime you do a gator hunt, it's a team effort. He's the tag holder and he chunked the spear, but it took all of us to get this uh -huh. thing in the boat and get it done. That's right. So, hey, thank y'all for watching. And as always, peace, love. We'll holler at you. See you later.